The Asha 501 is a tiny little feature phone rocking Nokia's latest touch-friendly version of the S40 platform. It has changeable plastic battery covers, which come in a number of colors and really add a lot of character to this budget range device. The front plays host to the 3-inch QVGA TFT display with capacitive multi-touch technology supporting up to two fingers. The screen density is around 133 pixels per inch, which is low by any standard, but certainly not a deal breaker in this class. The microphone is located at the bottom right corner of the front. Under the screen, there's a lone back button, which also closes apps entirely when you exit out of them. On the right side, Nokia has placed a two-piece volume rocker and the power lock button for unlocking the Asha 501. The bottom and left side are bare, while on the top there's a 3.5mm headphone jack along with a micro USB and the old standard charger port, although you can charge just as effectively via USB. The back holds the 3MP camera along with a Nokia logo and there's the loudspeaker pinhole, which is located underneath a bump used to undo the panel. Removing the panel reveals a micro SD card slot and the battery under which lies the primary SIM slot. There's a secondary SIM slot on the side of the device, which is hot swappable only if the primary SIM is in place under the battery. The Asha Touch interface features a vertically scrollable grid used to launch apps, which is also the home screen. The status bar can be dragged down to show the notification area, which comes with a few handy toggles, including Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Swipe to either side shows the fast lane menu, which gives you calendar events, recent calls and texts, and displays recently opened apps. Keep in mind that not all apps support the Asha 501's new fast lane multitasking system, but we expect that to change as soon as developers start optimizing their apps. You can close any app by, sim by simply swiping from either side of the screen or by pressing the back button at the bottom. Certain apps also have a contextual menu, which is opened by dragging up from the bottom of the screen.